Let's talk about sound. And let's not talk about it in that needlessly complex way that people invariably do when they talk about sound. You know what I'm talking about. Someone brings up sound and then all of a sudden it's all mathematics and uh, compression and rarefaction and a whole bunch of really inaccessible and needlessly confusing terms and concepts. The truth of the matter is sound is really simple. Yes, and I know there's probably an engineer right now who, whose knuckles just went white, but seriously, sound is simple. Sound is vibration, again, which I know is the way that all of these conversations invariably start. But sound is vibration, and that's all it is. An object vibrates. As it turns out, air transfers vibration really accurately. Which is to say, when this thing vibrates in a certain way, the air molecules around it vibrate in that exact same way. And when those air molecules vibrate that are in contact with the object that's vibrating, they cause the air molecules next to them to start to vibrate in that exact same way. And in that way, that vibration is exactly spread through the air. Now, it turns out that there are certain substances, objects, etc., which are susceptible to vibration from the air. Which is to say, when the air, which is moving like the original vibrating object was moving, hits these substances, etc., they take on the vibration that they're getting from the air. That's what our eardrums are doing. So, we have this object that's moving. It causes the air molecules next to it to move in the exact same way. Like this. That's, this is me trying to imitate the way that one hand is moving. So the air molecules are moving in that way. And then they move through the air at or 1,100 feet per second or something. And they come against something like, say, your eardrum. And they cause your eardrum to move in that exact same way. That's sound in a nutshell. A thing wiggles. It causes the air to wiggle, which causes your eardrum to wiggle. Here's the weird thing about it. And I don't think, no one ever told me this. And I'm going to tell you. And it's crazy. I can't believe that this isn't the first thing that people say when they talk about sound. So, you know when you take a ruler and you hold it on top of a desk and you flick it and it makes that really obnoxious noise? Well, here's the weird thing. Okay, we know that that sound that it's making, that's the vibration that it is making as it vibrates. But here's an interesting way to think about it. If we connected a pin to the end of that ruler, like taped a pen to it, like a writing pen. And then we had like a roll of paper that was going by this ruler at a certain speed. And we flicked the ruler. The movement of the ruler up and down would draw a waveform on the paper, right? I mean, that makes sense. If the paper was rolling by and this ruler was moving up and down, we would see this drawing of the movement. Well, that drawing is the sound. Because sound is just a vibration, a back and forth vibration. The way that that pen is drawing the vibration, it's drawing the actual sound. Because if we could take that paper, after we flick the ruler and it drew on the paper that was rolling by, if we rewound that paper back and saw the original movement of the ruler, and somehow we could make the ruler move that way again, by following what's drawn on the paper, it would cause the ruler to make the exact same sound that it made. And that's the incredible thing. A waveform is a graphic representation of exactly how an object wiggled to make the sound that it did. So the way that that ruler moved up and down is exactly how the air molecules around it moved and exactly how your eardrum moved. So if you taped a pen to your eardrum as you were hearing that ruler make that sound, it would draw the exact same waveform that the ruler did. And that's, that's an amazing thing if you think about it. Sound is a waveform. And waveform is sound. So when we talk about waveforms, we're not talking about some abstract representation. We're talking about a drawing of the sound itself that is the sound itself.